Hi, I'm Alexander Weaver, car specialist for RM Auctions, and we're on site here at the Arizona Biltmore for our auction this week. The 275 was a product of the evolution of the 250 series Ferrari. The 275 incorporated a vast number of differences from the 250, including four-wheel independent suspension, rear-mounted transaxle, total new body configuration, and a completely new engine as well. The styling of the 275 was unlike anything before it. It was uh, initially penned as the short nose example, uh, which they later changed into the long nose uh, for better high speed downforces. This car is one of those long nose examples and is also fitted with a desirable torque tube option, which helps the stability of the drivetrain. Those changes in the 275 over the 250 series car really helped establish it as the ultimate grand touring car. This car fits somewhere in the middle of the production run of the 275s. It's prior to the 4-cam, it is still a 2-cam. It has the desirable steel body and triple Weber carburetor setup, as well as a torque tube. And of course, the long nose, which really helps the clean looks of the car. 275s are fantastic cars to drive. Uh, they're very agile, the gearbox is very nice, the torque band is phenomenal. They're just really, really fun, very easy, very manageable cars. Uh, they can be driven in traffic, they can be driven on the highway, they can be driven through the mountains, and they're at home anywhere they are. Uh, I've particularly driven this car a little bit, and it's been a fantastic car to drive. The triple Webers are fantastic, they, they really run well, and the torque tube is very nice and, and keeps the car very, very subtle. The 275 was popular among celebrities and noted socialites as well. Uh, it, mostly for its stunning looks, its ease of drivability, uh, and, and it's just overall fantastic usability as well. Um, it really helped reaffirm how well Ferrari had designed this car and built this car and all the improvements that they had made over the 250 series cars. The success of the 275 was due in large part by the beautiful penmanship of Pininfarina and the wonderful coach building of Scaglietti. These two components and those two firms working together with Enzo Ferrari and, and the new independent suspension, the new motor, everything all together really is what made this car such a fantastic car then and today. The 275 is a great all-around car. It's purpose-built for everything actually. You can take this car, you can hop on the highway in the morning, you can drive 80 miles an hour all the way to the track, you can run it all day at the track, and you can drive it all the way home, and it will feel at home throughout the day. We're very excited to offer this 275 GTB, among other great cars, this Thursday and Friday in Arizona.